Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back. And this time, I got Ronnie Dizon back in the building. Oh, baby. He's only here for four hours. Ronnie, how are you doing? Tell the people why you're here. What's going on? And it's just good to see your face. I don't, I don't get to see you that much anymore. I don't anymore. get to see you either, man. I need to see you. Who said, okay, hold on one sec. <laughs> Who thinks Marky should come to the events? Huh? Ah! I, I'm locked in 100% for World Cup. Let's go. I'm locked in 100% for the World people Cup. People need you. And I need to be there. Yeah. I'm bringing the hype back. They miss you. Back when the, l- the lines were wrapped around the booth and oh, going snap, nuts, the autograph yeah. signing. This gets crazy. We're bringing it back. World Cup 100%. Maybe I go to Philly. Okay. We're going to talk about it. I'll see you there. Okay. Let's go. But tell everyone why you're here, Ronnie. Yeah. I look what's on our head. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's we're, go. We're here to, uh, I actually got on a flight at like 7 a.m. this morning. Flying in, doing a quick photo shoot podcast with the boys at HK Army. Shout out to them for all the support. I love them so much. I love you guys so much. Yeah, we love you too, Ronnie. We appreciate you. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so we're actually dropping these uh, headbands that are on Marky and I's heads. We got four colorways coming out, 25 of each headband coming out. Really limited. Super. F- can we swear on this podcast? You can say whatever the fuck you want. Super fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so like how we did these are a little bit different. Uh, something I noticed in the paintball community is a lot of headbands have print right here. Um, and, uh, what happens is when you wear goggles, especially cause I wear them a little bit higher, uh, you can't see it. That's right. right. So we did the top print. So anybody who does top print after this, just realize that they copied off. You copies. This. Ronnie did it first right oh, here. Let's go. I'm going to coin that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do these top print headbands. They're made of a, a much, uh, more, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say it, more like a denim material. Yeah. It's a, it's a denim thick, nice, expensive material. Yeah. These are definitely premium. They're definitely something, uh, that, uh, you know, you haven't seen before from uh, from the squad out here. So uh, we went through about 30 or something samples. The, 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 Jay, Jay literally <laughs> sent me, I had him send me like like a sample every like two days. Jay wants to kill you almost, I think. I there. bet he He's does. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, Ronnie, Jay, I love again. you. Yeah. He didn't prove it. He didn't prove it. But you know what I like about that, Ronnie, is because you care and yeah. you want to make sure that your your fans and our customers get the best possible experience ever when they get your merchandise. 100%. And that's why yours is the one of the top selling uh, signature series lines we've ever had, Appreciate period, that. because you care and you do it right, and yeah. we respect that. So yeah. if you got to send it back to Jay 100 times, fuck Jay, keep sending it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so exactly what Marky said. Yeah. It's just it's, it's caring about the material, caring about what's going to go on you. And uh, with these bands, I wanted them to be right. So, I, like, again, we'd go through a material, be like, hey, it's, too, it's not stretchy enough, it's too stiff. Then we go through another one, we'd, we switch the terry cloth. So there's a lot of premium things about the bands that I'm really excited about. And, uh, yeah, they're dope. They're embroidered, fully embroidered. Yeah, the embroidery is insane on these. Yeah, too. they're really fine. nice. Really high quality. And, uh, yeah, just something sick, premium. And, uh, again, there's only 25 of each colorway, so that's what I'm most hyped about because super limited. And uh, when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, that's cool. And so, yeah, one more. I wanted to make sure you said that. 25 of each color. Yes, correct. So there's 100 total. Yeah. And then that's it. That's it. And, oh, and this felt bag. Oh, yeah. So it Dude. comes in a dope, oh, dope in the case. Bag. Oh, hey, with the Omar. case. Guys, we've never, we got, he's got to show you these two things. We've never done this whole combo ever before in HKRM history. So you yeah, got to yeah. tell him about this stuff, too. So what's cool is, like, when you travel with your headbands, you know, actually, I put mine in, like, a goggle bag. But then, you know, it's just kind of too big. So they made a custom felt bag. Uh, if you guys are looking at the camera that's looking at me. Uh, a custom felt bag with the uh, with the logo on it, They're and uh, yeah, black and red, white. It just all matches the headbands, and uh, it also has this case that you could store t- up to two headbands in. So just something a little bit smaller and more premium that you could take your stuff in. There's a little Velcro patch that you could put on. You could put a Gang Gang patch, you have an HKRM yep. patch, you could put a Houston Heat patch. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it's gonna come with all these amenities, and then we're actually gonna be signing every single box too. Yep, one yeah. through one hundred. We're gonna sign that right after this. Yep. You're gonna have Ronnie's signature, and you're gonna know which number you got. Hell so yeah. so uh, yeah, exactly. Again, it's, it's just limited, cool, and uh, something to uh, you know set the bar for headbands to come. Hell yeah! And then Ronnie, why I got you here? I just got. I want to go back. I want to go backwards about when HK first started. There was PB Fashion. Yes. So yes. there's there's a lot of headband companies now yeah. that maybe people think are inventing the headband game or whatever. <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. You got Spica doing headbands. Fraggy's doing headbands. Uh, there's a bunch of I don't, there's so many headband companies now. It's crazy. Yeah. Can you just tell everyone who what PB Fashion was? Yeah. And how HK started? Because I just want to let that go. If some, I, there's a lot of new players here, and they're kind of forgetting how the game started. Right. And I just gotta throw that out there one more time. Yeah. Like yes. when you're wearing our headband. I can. I mean. Technically, I, I I think we can say this. We are the fucking creators and inventor of the headband. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I mean, so HK Army. Just when so I, was, I wanted, I wanted to break it down one more time because people are people are starting to forget where the headband came from. We've that's been facts. doing this for twenty five years plus. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to hear your thought on that. I think it's really crazy because like full circle when I was starting, like PB Fashion was the headband game. Like it was like they had the. 
the dopest headbands, you know what I mean? So to be able to uh, come full circle and like, you know, do headband collabs with you guys is like huge because I actually scored, uh, I think last year or two years ago, I scored an original PB Fashion headband that was mine actually. Was it really? Yeah, some, some dude had it. Like, where did you get this from? He's like, I got it from this guy. I'm like, okay, where did he get it from? He's like, this guy. And I'm like, that's, that was my headband. It tracked it down to actually yeah, yours. I still that's have it sick. actually. That's yeah. I, I, it, so like PB Fashion was essentially, you know, I think Fort was behind Brandon uh, Fort. a lot of that. Yep. He pressing in his basement, yeah. in his garage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he, uh, he, they just did really cool and like different headband designs. And yeah. Back fun. then it was just, there was just a camo print headband basically back then. And then Brandon and us, we, we kind of spiced stuff up. This is 20 years ago. Yeah. And we, yeah. we came out with cool prints. Like Dior, you, you guys had Dior, yeah, Dior Louis Gucci, Vuitton, Louis, yeah, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. And everyone was like, what, what is this? And then of course we had our HK army vinyls. Yes. So we had vinyl those headbands and then all you guys and the pros wanted to rock them back then. Yeah. yeah. And that's how PB fashion HK kind of took off because yep. Marcel is rocking it. All of our Lang's rocking one. Yeah. Uh, you know, you guys are rocking one. Like any pro team you look around you would see our head at least uh, hk headband on i at least at, at least one person yeah. on there drew templeton yeah. always shout Ruby, out, shout drew, out to always Ruby. rocked yeah. our headband like there was no matter what pro team you were going to see it i just had to throw it out there one time just to let it be known like when you're doing a headband with us yeah it's like it's awesome it's to have you sweet. do it with us because this is where it all started and, and what's dope is like because i did the top print you, you know you could see marky and i stack it um what people used to do with the hk arm headbands they would stack double HK, stack and it just looks sick so. bobby avilas bobby avilas I, I love you bobby yeah. i miss you bobby you used to stack like three, stack three of them bud. Stack three, yeah. all about the stack and i love that you did this too because it's like it seems so obvious but we we never did it yeah i don't know anyone who's ever did it so yeah. for you to do at the top like this for when sure. you did it i was like fuck that's sick yeah for <laughs> sure yeah like before like when when for or uh, when Jay and I were going through all the samples and stuff, I had a buddy of mine, Johnny Cortez. Uh, he he him and I were like kind of he he helped me kind of cultivate and inspire this because I thought of it and he kind of made it into fruition. I'm like, okay, cool, let's talk to HK, and then boom, and then for I mean, uh, Jay went to work and he was like, yo, I got the factory ripping right now. We yeah. got we got these coming. They're gonna be fire. So, yeah, yeah. No, so, they turned out insane. insane. Yeah, insane. They're crushing it. So and then and then you have a little a couple other little things that you know we don't gotta talk about, but. There's another drop coming oh, up. Oh, yeah, this yeah. Job. I got the, uh, the signature series. You guys, if you guys are following me on Instagram, at Ron on. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? I've been uh, kind of teasing the signature series, but uh, I'll stand up right now. For or, or, or even Danny could put a clip in from the what oh, yeah, we just yeah, shot. Yeah, 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 Danny, yeah. show it. You know, we got the, we got the <laughs> series. Roll the clip. Dude. Roll the clip. Yeah, Snake See, 2 is hot. Straight fire. <laughs> you're looking like, you're looking like uh, Michael Jordan in 98 coming out of the Bulls locker room, dog. Dude, it looks yeah. fire. I mean, that's the thing is like when I grew up, I grew up with the Bulls, yeah. uh, you know, Know, with my essentially my my dad was a huge bulls fan um and uh, he kind of inspired me when i was a kid there's like a if i could find the clip i'll send it to you guys but it's like i was like four or five years old and i knew the whole bulls lineup yeah like jordan ku coach you know scotty pippen yep. dennis robin so um and i actually live like down the block from the united center where they played so to be able to uh, kind of bring it back to you know like the, the the homage of yeah being you know chicago bulls fans um uh, my whole childhood uh it's pretty dope. So hopefully these drop pretty soon too. We're working on some prototypes and stuff. Yeah, there. yeah. He's getting it dialed in. Uh, the pants. I mean, I know. It, I'm just going to talk about. It. They're fire. The pants it's are the fire. The OGH Care Me track joggers, but then Ronnie does what Ronnie does best and <laughs> tweaks them, made them better, better fit, and then yeah. he added the um, denier well, yeah. to the knees so they're able to sustain uh, to play paintball in. Yeah. You're going to be able to take a beating with the material that he added to the knees, the swab pockets. Yeah. And they're it's fire. Sick, they're fire. You guys see but, it. but the headband drops first. Yeah. And then that hell yeah so as soon as these headbands drop you know get them while they're hot because they're gonna be gone yep and then okay i got a couple more things to talk to you before you get on this flight cool. one you guys just had an event you lost the dynasty i know can we just talk about <laughs> it i was like okay look archie's not playing yeah. for whatever reason why was he not playing i don't uh, know i think he tweaked something he tweaked something yeah. or got in a scuffle with sk i don't know what it was but <laughs> something I think happened he something. so archie doesn't play you guys are going to first and second you yeah. guys look fucking good the whole weekend i'm like let's go no archie we got a shot here that's gonna go down yeah. what what happened i mean i'm at home i didn't get to i didn't i wasn't there in the pits but what what do you think it was that they were able to still pull that off with even their you know their second lineup i mean it's, it wasn't even second lineup because all they did was j they put Urena in, but he was having an amazing event. He's playing good. Shout out to him. He, he's, you know, an incredible player. Yeah. You shout know, coming Urena. up from where he came from and now where he is. Like, yeah, he's, been he's crushing. came from the bottom up. Yeah. yeah. So he's, I really love his story. Um, But he, uh, he, he was playing good. So it, was, it wasn't like they really had a second lineup. True. They had just subbed him in for Archie. And uh, okay. I think, uh, I mean, if, if you look at it on paper, you know, we lost to right now, currently the best team True. in the entire world by one point in overtime. So I think for us, that's a testament to show like, you know, we didn't win an event all last year and for us to still be in that final top two yeah. shows that, you know, we can still be there and Definitely. win events. Right. 
Um, but yeah, it just came down to that one point, man. Um, we just, uh, when it mattered, we just didn't pull through for that single point. And, uh, that's how competitive this pro division yeah. is now, dude. It's fierce, right? Yeah. It's really fierce. So to be able to not pull through is, you know, heartbreaking, very heartbreaking. Cause I really wanted to win that one. But, yeah. uh, but yeah, it just shows we just have to do that little extra bit, you yep. know, and it just shows how much harder the small work needs to be to, you know, excel for that one point, you know, so uh it's it frustrating and i've been having nightmares but it's okay no you guys i mean you guys <laughs> look solid of course it came down to the wire it was yeah. it was close and uh I'm i still love paintball uh, after of course yeah, I, just, i've just been begging and hoping to give tyler one so he can go back on the podcast with marcelo <laughs> and say i fucking got you marcelo but marcelo keeps going back and getting his ass he does dude. he really i don't does. know how the hell and i was talking to marcelo at wc and even marcelo was like dude if we didn't win that one, I wasn't even going to be mad. Out of Marcelo's house, he's like, I want fucking Tyler to get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, go back on Monday, and we have to do the podcast, and yeah. fucking Tyler, and because he, he knows Tyler wants that shit so For bad. Sure. And, and I know Tyler wants that shit course. go back. Leaving Dynasty, coming to Heat. Yeah. And Tyler's a fucking savage on he's Heat. A monster, dude. Monster. That's my boy, dude. So, happy you know, belated birthday to yeah, Tyler. Yeah, happy, happy yeah. belated birthday, Tyler. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys look fucking good. That's what I kind of wanted to get at. It was super close. I yeah. think the next one we're going to, we're going to be there. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is like a lot of teams, um, you know, after they lose or if they win, you know, it's what they do after that to sustain yeah. it. And that's what dynasty has been, do, been good at is sustaining it. Right. Yeah. So they go back to work as soon as it's over. So yeah. I think that's what we need to do. That's what I've been doing since we lost. And you know. Um, it's just so we don't skip a beat for the next one. Got it. And you don't think, uh, yeah, yeah, throwing pink dildos around the day before the Jesus pro match Christ. had anything to do with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, don't fucking post Sake! that. <laughs> I said, you're going to post it. You're not going to win. And I'm gonna, everyone's going to blame me for that shit. <laughs> Dude, shout out to the yeah, yeah, That looked time. fun, though. You guys had a fun time. Man, let me tell you, we uh, we the, had a good time. <laughs> the, heat, the heat camp knows how to rock, boys. Yeah, Let's man. go. Yeah. Dude, it, was a, it was a blast, you know. Uh, it was good. Have, to be able to like bond with your boys like that too. Oh, it insane. sucks because like all the wives and girlfriends are like, you guys aren't even working. You yeah. guys are having a fun time. It's like, we love what we do. What do you want? Yeah, do? don't get mad at us. Yeah. This is what we do. This is what we love. Yeah, it's, that, it's was the, that was the best part like with HK and traveling, you know, played with Brandon, Jay, LJ, who's here, Short, who's here. We got to go everywhere with our best friends. Yeah. And we, yeah, we would go out and have a good time. And, and, and it was the best part about it all, you know? It's just, just the living bonding. your life, dude. Living to your the, life. To the fullest. You yeah, know? people were like, what are you guys doing out so late? You got to play in the morning. We're just living. Yeah. You know, the whole thing is just for HK was always just having fun. Yep. Going to the field, having fun. You guys have fun. That's what we did, yeah. Sometimes too much. <laughs> <laughs> but now look at you. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, doing all right. This beautiful place. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. One more thing I had to bring up, and I told you about it earlier. <sighs> there was, what was it? It was two events ago, right? Uh, sunshine open i think where, where you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. so the guy runs in he falls you put your gun down mm -hmm. everyone said you annihilated him massacred him assassinated mm -hmm. him whatever they want to say sure that was in first roll the clip danny danny roll the danny, clip roll the clip Okay, so first off, it was an epic shot. We're playing pro paintball here. That's at 240 frames per second, super slow motion. Yes. Makes it look a little bit worse than it is because all that happened within one second. But it the, was like the this. cameras, the camera slows it down. Talk yeah. about that clip. There was kids hating online, saying whatever. That was that was too much. This yeah. and that. Blah blah blah. Which my thought, we're playing pro paintball. That that's normal to me. What what's what's your thought on that? If if we gotta talk about it real quick. Well, to build off what you just said, it is normal. It happens all the time, and the cameras don't always catch everything that happens. Right. You know, there's a lot worse overshootings that happen uh, on other fields as well that aren't even pro. You know, right. um, so uh, sadly, what it looked. Oh, oh, oh dude! <laughs> we got Danny. The cameras turned off. Yeah, my but camera just made a noise, and I was shooting a time lapse over there for the. We vlog. heard a camera turn off, and we thought it was one of these. Two. I just. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a funniest clip. We all just stopped. Like what?
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that's so good. We're good. We're good. Already. That's how we roll. Oh my god. I was like, uh oh, it's off, dude. Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> the so show you, goes on. The show goes on, boys. You're saying st- this happens even on divisional fields. This yeah. happens all the time. The cameras aren't always catching right. this stuff. Yep. That's where we were at. So I'll walk you through what happened in my. Yeah, yeah. Let's walk us through. Okay, let's so walk us through, boys. We're playing Baltimore Revo. Yep. Um, we're up like, like two or three points. So uh, they literally only had like, I don't know, 20 seconds left to score a point. And even if they score the point, they don't have enough time to score another point, right? Right. And uh, I think at this point, they are they may be knocked out of the tournament because it's their last preview. Yeah, it was just, they were done. Yeah. So they're going to go hard. They're going to try and come at you because yep. so, it doesn't matter for them. Exactly. So yeah. I'm in the brick and they have two guys in the Dorito. Steven Omar is the second guy in the Dorito. I don't know the first kid. Um, and then I think Henry was alive. Fedorov's watching over me. Mm-hmm. Tyler's kind of watching over me. He's more shooting at the Dorito guy. Uh-huh. And then we, I think we have Connor uh, or Chad. I can't remember. Um, but... All I know is, okay, th- I'm going to walk you guys through my perspective. I'm posted up, and I hear, I fed off, like, I got you if he comes through. I go, okay, cool. And all I hear is Tyler going, get out, get out, get the fuck out on your loader. And I'm like, uh, who is he talking about, right? But then I hear foots, this is how I, why I turned. I heard footsteps. Yeah, because you were looking the other way. But I heard his and footsteps tr- stomping. Okay. He didn't got pop it. dead silence, you know? It's yeah. Call of Duty, right? Let's go. So, <laughs> listen, I'm posted this way, and I hear footsteps, and I instantly turn and just start ramping my gun. Yeah. But he, uh, he's coming to bunker me. Yeah. And in my head, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, he's got one shot left to shoot one person in this tournament. He's going to just put it on me, and, uh, and that's going to be the end of the tournament for him. And, you know, like, it's, you know, I mean, let me go out with a bang. At least let me stuff somebody, right? Yeah. But I hear him stomping. I hear Ye- Tyler yelling on his loader. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I hear him. He's coming to stick me regardless if he's shot, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. And, and second of all, I'm like, this guy's going to burn me. So I'm going to turn and burn, and it's just going to be a quick exchange well, i turn and as i'm burning he's falling to the ground <laughs> and where else am i gonna point my gun at the side the yeah side? hey oh let me just oh, miss yeah, and me, shoot this guy this guy shoot me you know you're gonna shoot him right so i i look down and again it's in slow motion so i, I look down i put like two or three on him yeah. and it, it was on the on his head yeah. right and he's turning and he's shooting me already right yep um and i'm thinking in my head like oh he's cheating and he's bunkering me so i'm like okay yeah i'm gonna put two on his head and run off right yeah, that's the game welcome to the pros well what really happened was uh Two things. Then you don't see this on any of the things on, mm. the, on the cameras. First of all, Tyler shoots the Dorito guy. If you watch the webcast, Tyler shot the Dorito guy and was yelling at him for his loader. Oh. And if you watch the webcast, he's wiping the loader hit. No shit. Yeah, so one. Ty- what? So Tyler was yelling about somebody <laughs> cheating on that, right? Yeah. Number two, if you watch the webcast and you look right before Omara comes around the brick, Fedorov shoots him in the leg. So he was already hit too. He was already hit yeah. regardless. Yeah. So he's cheating as he's they, they were. They were, yeah. But all you guys see is me getting cranked on yeah. and me shooting this guy on the ground. So, like, for all the people, and, um, you know, the big thing is, like, I, I saw, you know, shout out to Oliver Lang. Uh, I saw Oliver comment on this, too, and he said it was classless, you know? And I just, the only thing I want to say about that is, like, man, I learned a lot of that from him. Yeah. Because anytime I've ever played Oliver, he was ruthless. It didn't matter. He's a savage. He would overshoot. Yeah. And, and specifically, uh, MAO 2013, I was walking off the field, and I turned around to Oliver's barrel to my face, and I would, like, my whole mouth was bleeding. <laughs> so... The things that I learned was coming from the people that I looked up to. Yeah. You know? So it kind of hurt when he said that it was classless because it's like, dude, I learned that ruthlessness from him. Yeah. Uh, so at the at the top level, that's just part of the game. You know, you go out there, you get your you, you get your your licks, and that's that's the 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 reason why paintball is an extreme sport. You know. Um, so it, uh, it's just the way the, the the tournament went. And afterwards, even Omaro was like, if it was you, I would have done the same. Yeah, see? That's the guy who bunkered me. Yeah. Uh, and he even commented a bunch of people's stuff saying, don't be soft. So yeah. Big shout out to Steven Omar for that because he's a champion and he's a, an incredible player. And he'd, he'd do the same to me. And he even said afterwards, I even talked to him this last event, like, dude, people are soft and, you know, it's it's part of the game. And I expected that to happen when I was coming through to bunker you for the last point of Yeah. Time. So I'm glad I got to get that off my Yeah, team. I'm glad. I wanted to ask you. And, yeah. and, and maybe, I don't know, it's because we... I've played back in the day when NXL or PSP way worse was 18 BPS way worse way worse and Oliver come on we played against you every weekend at SC Village and you're on Ironman when Oliver gets on the field he switches into a monster yeah and that's what makes him good yeah he doesn't give a fuck he's gonna shoot the shit out of you everyone shot the shit out of everyone Chris Lasoya back in the day Ruth- oh my god I'd, I'd walk out with fucking 30 40 50 hits on me he didn't yeah. care it, it was that's what it was back then aftershock back then in the heyday that's what but that's the come camp, on that's the camp I grew up around was that's what I'm saying guy. Every weekend, those I was are the monsters beat down by the aftershock. Guys. So when, when when everyone was tripping on this little clip, I was like, "This is nothing." Yeah, literally nothing. It but just looks bad because it's in slow mo. Yeah, that's it. There was no slow mo back then, so and no it, one could see Oliver running around doing the same thing back then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is like shout out to like you know the like the Olivers, the the Mike Brunos, the people who 
you know, inspired me to play the sport at the top level because at the top level, you got to have no mercy sometimes. But at the same time, yeah, like there is an extent where you were, you know, doing a JC Dalen Boyum, you know, standoff, you know, shout out to those. Yeah, two, that, right? now that yeah. was wild. Yeah, now but, that, that got down. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, you know, that's just, just the crazy sport we play. You yeah. know, it's the nature of the game. We're out there shooting each other with guns. Yeah. yeah. When I, I, that just brought me something. Remember that kid, Kenny, Kenny Clamper? Yeah. He was a beast back then. Dude. Kenny. Kenny was savage. Yeah. I used to see him play all the time. I didn't grow up around his era, but I would watch. Obviously. Yeah, I didn't know because he was playing before you, right? He was yeah. already like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah I was like, that. he was like at the tail end of his career when I was getting. He in. was good. Yeah, he was, and he was ruthless too. All, the, all those boys back then. Again, the aftershock camp. I grew up in that, and that was, you know, ruthless. They went out there and they they shot you, and that was they shot you at the ground sometimes. Yeah, just come on, boys, stop being so soft. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, hell yeah! I know we're running out of time here. Anything else? Um, that we got on your plate that we got to squeeze in here before that, or I mean, no, I just, you know, we, I appreciate what HK has been doing with, you know, the collabs and yeah. I appreciate you, Danny, all the guys upstairs, Josh over here. I mean, I appreciate everybody at the booth and all the support for watching the, you know, all the, the vlogs and stuff. And then shout out to you for, you know, putting on the, the podcast, you know, yeah. this is fire. And I'm, I'm glad I was able to do another one in this, uh, amusing amazing beautiful uh little Ugh. office here because the last one i did one was upstairs yeah it was upstairs and then we built out the downstairs part yeah it's nicer because yeah. upstairs everyone would look at you yeah you're all staring at you like what's what are you talking about yeah basically <laughs> so, so we kind of got a little semi-private area short my anxiety's here. lower here you know in this area yeah upstairs. <laughs> this was good yeah. well no dude we're stoked dude and, and um you know we love paintball yeah. we grew up our whole life has been paintball yeah. um there's nothing we love more and uh you know watching you come up the ranks and doing what you've done has been nothing but amazing and you're crushing it. So to be able to do these claps together as we've all come up together is awesome and you're crushing it and you're killing it and we're going to continue to kill it. So oh yeah, man. thanks for doing it with us. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is Mr. H and Ronnie D's on the full experience podcast. We're out of here. Peace.